Hello, I'm Mitchell Schaefer. I'm a student here at UW Platteville, a uh, recent mechanical engineering graduate, and this here is our senior design project. This is a John Deere 2025R that we converted to electric. So underneath the hood here, um, we have our entire system. So the motor down there is an ME1003. It puts out about 20 horsepower and 40 foot-pounds of torque, which is almost the same as the diesel engine that was in this. Uh, the system voltage is about 76 volts. That's running on 10 Nissan Leaf cells. Um, they're all run in series, a DALI BMS to control them. Uh, we then go through our, our safety switch to make sure that nobody uh, shocks themselves while they're working on the thing. Uh, we have a fuse just in case uh, something gets shorted, we don't end up blowing the whole thing up. That goes up to our contactor and then a Kelly motor controller to run the whole thing. Um, that up there is a DC to DC converter. So this are, that's the Kelly controller? Yep. Mounted below there is the Kelly and controller. that's the DC to DC. And yep, and that there is the DC to DC converter. So the stock harness needed to be stripped down for, to take all the, the stuff for the gasoline, or not sorry, the, yeah, the diesel motor out of it. Um, so most of that stuff is all still there. The lights, uh, the hazards, all that stuff still functions as, as it normally would. So if we come up onto the dash, uh, we don't have the instrument cluster in yet, we're still working on that. But the PTO, the blinkers, the hazards and the headlights, those still all function off of the normal. So you can see hazards are working. Up front, the headlights are on. All powered by the DC to DC converter. All, yep, all powered by the DC to DC converter, so there's no 12 volt battery on the system. Um, we hooked everything up to run off of the stock ignition switch. So in the off position, uh, there's no 12 volt going from the DC to DC converter to anything, and the whole tractor is dead. So key on, 12 volt system powers on, and then uh, normal start just like you would on the diesel motor to uh, start up the contactor. And then our potentiometer here, which is labeled backwards, spins up our motor. So that's your throttle control right there. Yep, that's our throttle control. So 50s, full speed. So that's about as loud as she gets. Okay, but right now, right now the tractor wasn't going anywhere even though you had the throttle going. Yes. Because what actually drives the tractor? Yeah, so this tractor is hydromatic. So that means that you have pedals down here which engage a clutch, uh, a clutch in a, in a way, in the, the hydrostatic transmission. So that um, increases the, the dampening between plates and it ends up moving the tractor, similar to like a clutch in a, in a car. And in fact, everything on this tractor is hydraulic powered. Yes. So that motor, what it's connected to is just a big hydraulic pump. Yep, exactly. So pretty much we just took the diesel motor out and put an electric motor in its place. Uh, so yeah, so the runtime for the tractor, um, full throttle, um, under full load is about 20 minutes. Uh, if you take and turn it down, you, we can expect about 45, and that's based on the average current draw that we saw. So at full load, uh, full throttle, we saw about 125 amps of draw. Um, going half throttle at a more reasonable speed that would be under operation, we saw about 50 amps of draw. So 20 minutes to about 45 minutes, depending on, on uh, how you're using the tractor. And you have more room for batteries. Yes, we have, currently we have accommodations for another set to be bolted right on it. So another pack of 10 leaf cells can get bolted in right here. And there's enough room, if we move a couple things around, that we could fit two more banks of 10 vertical between here. Right around all this open space. Yep. So we could have up to four of these cell banks in there. And if you want, you could add more outside of the hood, so we could get the run time to a couple hours by increasing the amount of batteries. Okay, uh, last question, what about charging? Uh, charging, we have a 12 amp charger, which takes with this battery pack about four hours to go from voltage cutoff, which is about 60 volts, up to our what assumed 100%, which is 80 volts. So all in all, this was a really cool project for being Mainly electrical based, we had four mechanical engineers working on it, but this is kind of the way that the world is going to be moving. So it was a really fun project, and thanks a lot to John Fick and UW Platteville for letting us do this.
The students did a great job, especially considering their time and budget constraints. We also video recorded their senior design presentation, so if you want to learn more about the details and why they chose certain parts, uh, we've got a video for you of that as well. Make sure to check that one out.